Nail art is everywhere. Got some over here. Nail art. Nail art. Nail art. Art. Nail art. Nail art. Nail art is all over the damn place. And the thing is, you need it for your nail business. The big question is, how much do you need? How much do you incorporate in your salon business? Do you gotta paint portraits and do crazy line designs and detail? Or can you just dabble it in, pepper it in if you understand colors, if you understand those concepts? Can you do that? The fact of the matter is, you need it for the salon. The big question is, how much do you put in? How do you get acquainted with it if you're uncomfortable or feeling insecure with nail art? We're gonna talk to the pros, Tracy and Steph. We're gonna find out exactly what you're gonna do. Let's do it. That, by the way, is, is a picture of Greg and not of me. And you can tell it's Greg. I mean, it's easy, right? See? That's not, that's not me, right? Clearly, Greg. Oh yeah, that's how he does that face. How much nail art does one need? What is truly important when it comes to nail art? I think nail art is really important. Uh, however, I don't think it's important for you to be able to draw all these crazy things. I don't, I don't like to. I'm not very good at it. I love glitter, I love abstract, I love playing with the airbrush, I love that kind of thing, but to to draw something, no, I, you do not. I think it's kind of crazy because we just had a class and that was the big thing, like you, you gotta draw the Mona Lisa or right. little baby Jesus you right. know, growing up in the manger and uh, and you just don't have to. The, the clients love glitter and mylar. You have been able to make nail art a huge part of your business when you're running a salon, but there's a big misconception. Like people have this idea of, oh my God, I'm intimidated. They see other nail techs doing nail art. They might feel that if I do something basic and simple, they're gonna get judged. I think, is that not like one of the bigger issues? It was for me, like I, I, especially since there was a couple people in my salon that were very talented and they could do all the Disney mm -hmm. characters and all that stuff. That's really intimidating. And I remember the first time uh, I, someone came in and asked for a fall design and one of the girls was like, here's a stencil, an airbrush stencil, but I didn't airbrush. She's like, just take some brown paint on a sponge and dab it in there and it look, it looked like little pieces of poo all over the nail. <laughs> like it was horrible, horrible. And I just like, I'm not doing it. That's I'm not awesome. doing it. So I just like, I'll just French, I'm gonna just stick to French. But the problem was, is back then like French was a huge, everybody got French. Uh, but art was starting to come around and I, got so bored doing French. I wanted to be able to do art. I wanted to be able to play with glitter. I wanted to have fun with nails. Honestly, I think I started taking classes with you guys mm. and realizing that glitter fades and, and mylar and all that liquid art, all these different options back in the day. Yeah. We used to do business cards and it'd say, custom, you know, specializing in this. I would put specializing in art, even though I don't hand paint because that, my artistic side was different from everybody else, yeah. which set me apart. Yeah. Beautiful nails and incorporating art are like some of our mentors, like um, Natalie Cohen out of Sweden, Dawn Arnaud from uh, the UK. Their fundamentals of shaping, beautiful nail shaping is like sort of the main that's like the backbone of what makes the nails look good. And then they just, they, they bring in color and glitter, marbling, stuff that a lot of people can do, but they use it very tastefully, right? And it it just makes the nails look beautiful. You know, for me, I, I try to think of like, what are my customers going to want to wear for a full two weeks? Right. A beautiful color combination, a beautiful glitter, something that speaks volumes without screaming it um, is what most customers want, yeah. really. I think it's easy as a technician to get in our own head because we know what we've seen, we know what's out there, and we feel like just adding a glitter isn't enough. 
and it totally is. You can completely change the look of a set, even if you're kind of upcycling, keeping some of the same base from the previous set, adding a glitter, adding a stamp, something simple. I think the biggest thing, it's which is my answer honestly to a lot of things, is being honest and upfront with your clients. Because I can't tell you how much more it's appreciated if they come in and they're like, I want this, you know, Monet on my nails. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And then I try it and it's not good. Rather than if I'm just like, that's not really my thing, what I can do is this, this beautiful color combination that kind of represents that vibe you're looking for. Um, they respect you more for the honesty behind it. Yeah. And then you don't end up putting something out that you're not proud of. Being true to yourself and whatever it is that you're comfortable with, if it is beautiful color combinations, which some may consider simple, I still think that they're gorgeous. Just, that's something that yeah. I would want to wear rather than you trying to draw uh, my dog on my nails and it ended up being like a big blob that yeah. I'm gonna be bummed you're gonna be able to tell I'm bummed you know so I just think being honest to what your abilities are it's not just the art it's the combination of all of it together yeah. that makes the whole vibe you know what I mean it's rather than just having like oh there's a character on this nail it's all when all you put all ten of them together whether it's like an ombre with solid or like a glitter with solid it really just becomes this whole look Right. And that's where I think where the artwork comes in, yeah. even if it's not artwork, like yeah. hand painting. The most important thing is, like what you just said, Steph, is the full look is far more powerful than one individual like nail design. And that's why sets like what Natalie does or Dawn does are so beautiful, because it's the, it's the full look. Mm -hmm. It's the shape is beautiful, but the color combo of the entire set of nails how they use the glitters tastefully and the color combinations. You don't have to over uh, do the nails with tons of different colors and tons of different bling and to be called like an artist. Mm -hmm. You know, a real beautiful set of nails is one that has those combos, yeah. yeah. You know, Tracy and Steph always say, you don't need to paint the Mona Lisa. You just, you can start with color combinations and enhance with glitter. And then if you so desire to hand paint later, you can work on that with time and slowly incorporate it. But in the beginning, go to our page, check out the sets of nails we're posting, copy those, use those for inspiration, bring it to life in your salon. Greg, what is your take on this, bro? I didn't get your opinion. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Thanks for being here. Appreciate it, Greg. Thanks. <laughs>